It was at this travel lodge here in Bista, where the teenager hacked Rockstar Games, who was able to connect to cloud computing and then hack Rockstar Games and leak GTA source code, as well as clips from the game. This is an Amazon Fire Stick. I've connected it to an HDMI splitter so that we can see the output on this monitor as well as my computer. Just makes it easier for recording. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Fire Stick to access Kali Linux in the cloud. This is based on a very famous hacking example that you may be aware of. A court found how teenagers, including this 18 year old British teenager, carried out a massive hacking spree. The court heard how he leaked clips of the unreleased Grand Theft Auto 6 game while on bail in a travel lodge hotel. He had been moved into a travel lodge hotel in Bista for his safety and given strict bail conditions, including a ban from going on the internet. But that didn't stop him and he carried on hacking. He was caught red-handed when City of London police searched his hotel room in flagrant disregard for his bail conditions. Jurors were told that police found an Amazon Fire Stick in his hotel TV allowing him to connect to cloud computing services with a newly purchased smartphone, keyboard, and mouse. The court also heard how he had helped attack Revolut, Uber, and Rockstar Games. It was at this travel lodge here in Bista, where the teenager hacked Rockstar Games. Even though he was out on bail and under police supervision, he was simply able to walk out, only walk a short distance to the Argos, and then buy a wireless keyboard, as well as a mouse and a fire stick, and use that to hack. Rockstar Games. So a very short walk to Argos and Sainsbury's. Simply walked in here and bought the equipment that he needed to hack. Argos allows you to buy products using this computer and then you just collect them. So simply select your product, add to trolley, it's in stock. Then you could pay with a card or just cash, which means there's no trace. And then just put in your name. Maybe use this name or some other alias. And then you simply continue to tool, pay with cash. So walk right over there, collect your items and pay. Once paid, very short walk back to the hotel. So walk out at Sainsbury's and right in front of us is the travel lodge. You can see it there in the distance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a Fire Stick to access cloud computing in a similar way to what he did. In our example, we're going to use Kali Linux as a VPS or virtual private server in hosting as infrastructure. I'll show you how you can set up the Fire Stick with the necessary software so that you can SSH into Kali Linux and then access that from a hotel room as an example. The only difference is here you need to do it ethically. Don't go to jail. So on my Amazon Fire Stick, I'll go to home, scroll down. You can see that F-Droid is installed on this Amazon Fire Stick. And through F-Droid, I have installed Termux. So using my mouse, I can open up Termux. As you can see here, it says, welcome to Termux. So I could clear my screen as an example and use a command such as uname-a to see that this is running Android. But the power of this is that I can install SSH. So if I try to SSH to a server in the cloud, in this example, it's a Kali Linux VPS or virtual private server running within Hostinger's infrastructure. I really wanna thank Hostinger for sponsoring this video and showing us how easy it is to set up a VPS in their infrastructure, but then also being able to connect to it using a Fire Stick. Now, if you wanna follow along and set up your own VPS so that you can do what I'm doing here, use the link below, hostinger.com forward slash David Bomble and get a special discount. So I'll SSH, username is root. IP address of VPS is as follows, press enter. Notice we told that SSH is not installed. So I'll use PKG install open SSH to install SSH on the Amazon Fire Stick. So I'm gonna say yes to install the software. And there you go, SSH is installed. So now I can SSH to my VPS server. I'll accept the public key, put in my password, and notice now, I am root on that VPS server. Uname-a shows us that we're using Kali Linux on this VPS server. And obviously, once I'm here, I could run any Kali command and 
use this to attack other devices or use this to jump to another host to attack other devices. Now, never use your skills for bad. Notice how this is a cautionary tale. This teenager has been handed an indefinite hospital order. He will remain at a secure hospital for life unless doctors deem him no longer a danger. The court heard how he was violent in custody with dozens of reports of injury or property damage. And he has continued to express the intent to return to cybercrime as soon as possible. He is highly motivated. Just because you can use a fire stick as a launch pad to get access to a VPS server doesn't mean that you should use your skills for bad purposes. Use your skills and what you're learning in this video to do good. This video is once again for educational purposes only. Use what I'm showing you here for good. And note that a Fire Stick is running Android, which means that we can install other applications on it and use it like a mini computer. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Fire Stick, how to install FDroid and Termux and get this working. There are a number of steps that you need to take to allow this to work. As an example, one of the things you may have to do is enable developer options so that you have the ability to install applications like FDroid and others on the Fire Stick in my tests does not allow you to do that by default. So you've got to work around that and allow yourself to install these applications. But again, only use the knowledge here for good, not for bad. Only attack networks that you own or have permission to attack. But what we'll do is go to the home screen. And from here, I'm just gonna to navigate to my settings. I'll go to my Fire TV. And what I'll do now is reset it to factory defaults. So I'm gonna reset it. I'm gonna show you all the steps whole process on how to get this set up. As you can see there, my keyboard is being disconnected because the Fire Stick is being set to factory defaults. You can see that it's being turned off. It's being reset at the moment. Now to help you set this up, my team and I have created a PDF which you can download using a link below that shows you all the steps on how to set this up, get the software installed and so forth. The process that I used was slightly different to the steps shown in the PDF because I've got a different Fire Stick to the one that my team used for creating the PDF. So some of the steps may be different in this example, I'm just gonna show you how to get the basic settings of the Fire Stick set up. Jump to this timestamp if you're not interested in seeing the basics of the Fire Stick setup and are only interested in seeing how to get FDroid and Termux installed on the Fire Stick and setting up the VPS server. Now the reset process may take a while. Now's a good time to go and get a coffee while you wait for the Fire Stick to reset. Okay, once the Fire Stick has come back, I'm gonna press the home button on the remote. And notice now it says, press play pause, I'll do that. I'm gonna select my language, which is English, United States. I'm gonna set it up with a remote. It starts scanning for Wi-Fi networks. I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi network. I'll put in my password and then I'll press play pause to connect. Connection is now successful. The Fire Stick is gonna download the latest version of software. So it's doing that now. You can either create a free account or sign in with an account. So I have an account, so I'll sign in with that. So the easiest way to do this is to go to your Amazon account. So go to amazon.com forward slash code and then enter the code shown on screen. So I'll do that here. I've logged into my Amazon account. I'm gonna put that code in and click continue. It says success, your registration is now complete. So I'm told that this Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max has been registered to my account. I'm gonna press the middle button to continue. I'm not gonna save my Wi-Fi passwords to amazon.com. I'm gonna decline cookies. I'm not gonna restore any files. So skip that. So it says we'll be playing music during the next step. Make sure the volume is turned up and then press continue. So on my monitor now, music is playing. So I'm just gonna turn that off. You can adjust that using the volume up and volume down buttons. I'm just gonna go with the default and say yes. And there you go, the Fire Stick has now been successfully set up. I can press continue. I'm gonna skip the trial and I'm not gonna select all the apps that I want. I'm gonna say no thanks to that. I'm not gonna enable parental controls and I'm gonna say, got it, welcome to the Fire Stick. I'm using my profile and there you go. So basic setup of the Fire Stick. There are probably many better guides out there showing you how to set that up, but there you go, very basic setup. Now, the important part is to go to your settings. So you can either go right or go left, but go to your settings and go to My Fire TV, press about seven times. And notice we told that we are now a developer, which is important because I want to install applications that aren't normally allowed. 
Now, another thing I want to do is connect the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to the Fire Stick. So I'm going to go to controllers and Bluetooth devices, and then I'm going to go to other Bluetooth devices, and I'm going to add additional Bluetooth devices. So on this keyboard, I need to press FN1 to get it to pair. And there you go. You can see that it's showing up. So the device is now being paired. Okay, so that's been done. You can see that that's connected. I'm gonna add another Bluetooth device. So on the mouse, I had to press this button to enable pairing. Now the mouse is shown on the Fire Stick, so I can select that. And there you go. My two devices are paired. So as an example, I can use the keyboard to move around and I'll be able to use the mouse to control the Fire Stick. And now what we wanna do is install software. So I'm gonna to go to Find, App Store. I'm gonna search for internet, so press I, select internet, select the internet app. So this is Amazon Sulk. I prefer Brave or Chrome, but uh, this is what we've got here. So I'll press okay just to take the default. So using the mouse, I'll go to the URL and here I need my keyboard and I'll type fdroid.org and press go and notice what I should be able to do is download F-Droid. But notice we told downloading is not supported at this time. So I'll press that again, downloading not supported at this time. So what I've found that I need to do is use another app. This app is not gonna work. So I'm gonna search for download. And what I'm gonna do here is install the downloader app. So I'm gonna download that and install that. You may have to use a different app, but that's how I got round it in the UK by using this web browser. The Amazon web browser doesn't allow apps to be installed, so I needed to use this. So I'm gonna to go to Downloader, and then what I'm gonna do, use my mouse, put in the URL, so fdroid.org, press go. And now what I'm gonna do is download the fdroid software. As you can see, it's being downloaded. We are warned that for security, your TV is not allowed to install unknown apps from the source. So we're gonna to go to Settings, select Unknown Apps, Select download it and I'm gonna turn that on. Go back to the app, go back to F-Droid, download F-Droid again, and now I'll be able to install it and I'm gonna open it up. Now it's gonna update the repositories. This may take a while depending on your internet speed. So just give it some time to update the repositories. Go and get another coffee if needed while you wait for this to update. Now install unknown apps. I'm gonna to go to F-Droid and turn that on so that I can install apps through F-Droid. Go back with my mouse, I'm going to search for Termux. We're going to select Termux emulator with packages and we're gonna click install. Termux has now been installed. So I can click install again, click install. Termux has now been installed and notice we told that it's ready to launch. So I'll launch it. We told that it's installing bootstrap packages and there you go. Termux is now installed. So again, ifconfig shows me my IP address. I could ping google.com and there you go. Things are succeeding. I'll clear the screen and then I could SSH somewhere, but notice we told that we need to install that. So I'll install OpenSSH. Say yes to install the software. Software is now being installed. Okay, clear. So now, if you've got a server set up, you could SSH to the server. I'll accept the fingerprint, put in my password and log in. That completes the configuration of the Fire Stick, but obviously you need a VPS server to connect to. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do now. I'll show you how to set up a VPS server using Hostinger. So in my Amazon Silk browser, so I'm gonna to go to HTTPS, hostinger.com forward slash VPS hosting. As you can see here, VPS hosting from $4.99 per month. Scrolling down, we could select the server as an example, KVM2, choose this plan. So under coupon code, make sure you put in David Bomble and apply your discount. Notice the price was lowered now with that coupon code. So rather than paying $431 for 24 months, we are paying $181 for 24 months. You now need to put in your credit card details or your PayPal information, one of these payment options, and then press submit secure payment. And I forgot to put in my username and email address. So put that information in and then click submit secure payment. So once you've created your account, log in using the credentials that you've created. And now you can select VPS as an option. So click on VPS. 
click on setup. Server is now being set up and click start now. Very simple to set up a server using Hostinger. Select the location for your VPS server. You need to select the OS template for your new server. We're gonna select Kali Linux. Create a root password for your Kali Linux VPS instance. There's one more step to finish your VPS setup. Double check the information, make sure it's good and then click confirm. And there you go, your VPS is now being set up and we're told that it's now ready. We're given the command to SSH to the server. In this example, it's SSH root at and the IP address of the server that then allows you to SSH to a server. So as an example, I could put in my password here and notice now I can leverage all the power of Kali Linux. Hostinger offers a variety of server plans. Go to hostinger.com forward slash David Bumble to see various VPS options. Hostinger recommends the KVM2 plan for setting up a remote Kali Linux machine, which is great for ethical hacking. Notice the keyword ethical hacking. Hostinger's VPS uses NVMe, SSD storage, and AMD Epic processors for fast responsive performance. Some key features, they use KVM virtualization, which ensures separate resources for each VPS, enhancing performance and stability. You have full root access and therefore have complete control over server customization. There's also enhanced security. They use Vanguard DDoS filtering and have user-friendly firewall configuration. There's also automatic backups, weekly backups and real-time snapshots to secure data protection and recovery. The KVM2 plan specs are as follows. You get two virtual CPU cores, eight gigabytes of RAM, 100 gigabytes of NVMe disk space and eight terabytes of bandwidth. Hosting as KVM2 plan is robust high performance choice with comprehensive control and security features. You should always use the server ethically once again. Don't go to jail. Learn ethical hacking and help protect the world. Now, what's really cool is that if you select the KVM2 hosting option, you can use the code David Bumble to get an additional discount. I really wanna thank Hostinger once again for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Without their help, I wouldn't be able to buy all the equipment that I use in videos and get my team to help me create the content, edit the content and make it much better. Go and support Hostinger. And again, thanks to them for supporting my channel. Okay, so there you go. I've now shown you how to use a Fire Stick, basically running an Android operating system to install applications such as Fdroid and Termux to access a server on the internet. In this example, a Kali Linux VPS server where you can then use all the power of Kali Linux, even though all you've got is a fire stick, a keyboard and a mouse. Again, use your powers for good. I'm David Bumble. I want to wish you all the very best.